Hi, my name is Ovi. I've been with Biognosis since 2011 as lead developer of Spectronaut. Today, I wanted to highlight one of the hidden gems in the Spectronaut DIA pipeline, the HDMS converter. HDMS is a vendor agnostic binary mass spec data file format. We developed the HDMS format for high speed processing of peptide centric DIA data using Spectronaut. In order to perform an efficient DIA analysis in Spectronaut, the different vendor formats require some pre processing and reorganization of the raw MS spectra. The HDMS file is now a way to store these computationally heavy pre processing steps so that they can be skipped in the DIA analysis. Additionally, the file automatically stores RT and mass calibration information from the last time it was analyzed, allowing you to skip those steps as well on a subsequent analysis. Together with the pre-processing, these steps can make up more than 70% of the total analysis time. So having this information permanently stored makes a lot of sense. In this video, I will show you two things now. First, how to use the HMS converter to convert a set of raw files. And second, how to set the converter up in a way that it auto-converts any newly generated raw files placed in a specified folder. The HMS converter is automatically installed together with Spectronaut, so just search for it in the Windows Start menu. A neat little thing about this tool is that it doesn't require an activation key to run. That means you can install and run it on as many machines as you like. That is especially handy if you need to convert a lot of files for large projects in parallel. Okay now, to convert a DIA run to HMS, click on Add File. From there, select the raw files you want to convert from the file browser and click Open. In my opinion, one of the coolest features of the HMS converter is the ability to centroid the data. This is especially useful when running larger experiments and to keep the overall memory footprint of Spectronaut lower. Once you are happy with the parameter selection, just click on OK to add the tasks to the queue. You can now see the progress of the queue in the overview of the converter perspective. So, as promised, now I want to show you how you can automate this process by setting up a folder monitor. Back in the main perspective, select Add Folder. This time, you will be prompted with a folder browser. Select the directory that you want to monitor and click OK. You can now choose from the same conversion parameter as for the single file conversion. However, now there are some additional important options in the section Batch Conversion. Here you want to select Monitor Folder and, if necessary, check the box for Include Subfolder. You might also want to add a file filter since the conversion only makes sense for DIA files. For my example, I set it to underscore MDIA underscore since all our DIA data contains this identification block in the file name. You can also specify an output location if necessary. By default, each HMS file will end up in the same location as the originating raw file. Now, just like before, click on OK and the folder will be added to the list of monitored locations. Any new file that is dropped into this folder will now be automatically converted and stored at the specified target location. We at Biognosis use this mechanic internally to automatically convert any newly acquired DIA files directly on the instrument PC. So, the resulting HMS files can now be used like any other supported vendor format within Spectronaut. You will notice that not only does the analysis time decrease drastically, but also the amount of RAM used by Spectronaut will be lower compared to the analysis directly from the vendor-specific formats. I hope this video helps you take advantage of the HMS converter. You can find more information in the Spectronaut user manual. And our support team is available at support at diagnosis.com. Enough said. Thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and check out our other tutorial videos.